Hello students, this is Huma Haq, um, your instructor for MOP120 course for coding, actually coding for CPT and HICPIX, um, as you can see here, right? And in this course, you are supposed to be working on Practicode. I know some of you have not yet coded at all, so it's kind of a challenging thing to go through. But I am planning to make some short videos for you to be able to help you. I do post a lot of videos for um, codes, coding, CPT, ICD, and HICPIC so that you can use those towards understanding how to code. But if you need any assistance, you can make an appointment with me and I can review things with you. So on your content, under, um, under each week actually, you will see Practicode Instructions. Okay, this is under the content page. Let me go back again and show it to you. This is your content page, unit one, and I'm going down to find the practical instructions. I know it looks different, okay, but if you have already logged into the practical, great. If you have not, you should be looking for an email from AAPC. And um, it gives you your information to log into the uh, practice code. And this is where you will go into. This is your link to logging into practice code. You will use your username, password, and create an account and um, start using the practice code. Now, remember, practice code is a great, a great piece of learning tool to help you understand and actually apply um, the coding concepts by doing these scenarios, practice scenarios, and making mistakes, okay? The reason I say making mistakes is that's the best way to learn. So you are going to make mistakes, but don't worry, because as soon as you make a mistake, you finish answering all the questions. Make sure you go into the rationale, like when you submit, you will get your answers, you will get a rationale to see what mistakes you made. Now, this is where you have to stop and learn. It's not something that, oh, I am done, I should move on. No, you have to attempt that question again, not doing anything, but just reviewing your mistakes, reviewing how, um, what codes are given to you and how they were found, because all the details will be given to you in the rationale. So please use that and see um, how it was, the medical record was abstracted and put together into the practical scenario. That's the best part of learning. So over here, it says practical by AAPC helps new and experienced medical coders get real world experience. Now remember, this is again, something really useful, something I really like as an instructor, as someone who would learn greatly from um, different various uh, scenarios. So what you have to do, as given over here, for each module, everything turns blue, you have to submit 20 cases every week. Screenshot, which I will show you. And those screenshots should have the number 20 or, you know, as you go further, it's going to become to 40, 60, 80. And this is going to be your submission for each week as a screenshot on your sub on your assignment. Um, but remember, it is um, the modules that you're attempting. Okay, module, not <clears throat> not your final assessments. It says a module assessment, but I just want you to work on the module and get twenty cases done. At the end, you will once you finish your modules you will have an assessment done which you will need 70 percent to pass so 20 cases screenshot and remember when you submit those 20 cases i don't see if you have the right answers or the wrong answers so you are just submitting your attempts um, as long as I see those attempts on the screenshot, you are good to go. It is up to you to take your time and review the rationales, review the answers, and give yourself a good concept of how to code. Any questions, keep in touch with me, please.
So this was a little bit of what we wanted to discuss as um, how your practical works. Now remember this over here, it shows you some people have said it's totally different, but I will take you to the to the uh, practical page. But we are still submitting. Remember, this is how you see your prac modules, and they are going to be the same. So let me take you there. Give me just a moment. All right, so we are here now. I'm going to go back to um, our first page, home page. Let me make it a bit bigger. So here we are on the practical page, and I wanted to show you how to be able to take a screenshot of what you're doing and what exactly do you have to do. So I'm on the practical page. I'm going to click on the three bars on the left upper corner. I'm going to go into my courses and learning plans, and I'm going to see all my courses here. So you have three assessments, as you can see, module one assessment, two assessment, third, three assessments, and then you have module one, two, and three at the bottom. What you need to do is to make sure you do your module one, two, and three first. The assessments will only open after you finish the module, which is based upon 200 cases. You're not, you're not um, getting a grade on your modules you are just attempting them but once you finish the 200 cases you will do the module one assessment which is one time only which is you have to pass with the 70 percent so make sure if you are working on learning through these cases you want to make sure you do 200 cases and then do your assessment get a 70 percent because if you pass all these three assessments with a 70 percent you get an apprenticeship taken off of your CPCA after you finish your CPC certification exam. That is for people who have no experience in coding. They get a CPCA at the end. A is for apprenticeship, which is taken off if you have done all of these assessments because they are considered to be equivalent to some experience now that you have learned so much through these practical scenarios. So it's a great, great tool. I always say that because I really like practical. And I want you to try that. So once you're here, you open your Practicode. Um, this is the one that I'm working on. And you can see that you have, if you have already worked on it, you will see the number of cases you have so far attempted. And this is the screenshot I need from you. Take a screenshot. And um, the screenshot, if you want, want me to go into it quickly, you will look under your um, in your computer for a snipping tool and this is the snipping tool that I have here once you open the snipping tool you see how the paper gets um, the, 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 the screen becomes hazy and you get this plus sign which you can just take a picture you just take a screenshot and here you go this is your screenshot now you save the copy as wherever you want to save it or you can take a copy and put it on a word pad save that into your computer and then submit as your assignment all right guys so that was just a quick review of how to take a screenshot coming back to our screen on practicode so um this page is showing you the number of cases attempted by you and that is what i need from the assignment and you if you the green ones are the ones that you have done the yellow check mark shows you that you're still in progress and you need to do this question. So continue from there. It says resume where you left off and you will continue to do the same cases. Um, I'm going to finish this now. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You know my um, text number posted everywhere in your course. And I would love to touch base with you on practical or any other questions you might have for me.